Uh, listen, I already have some energy out here. We have the energy of somebody new trying to flirt with you. There's somebody here in your life. I feel like this is either, I mean, you know, this could be present energy. I feel like for a lot of you all, there's, this is present energy. And for some of you all, this is going to be new because we do have new energy here too. Stay optimistic about your love life and then new love, okay? But the thing is, staying optimistic about your love life came out in, like, crossing. Like, it didn't come out in reverse. It just came out crossing. And as you can see in this card, she's, like, trying to offer something, right? She's like, okay, here, here's my heart. Please take it. I'm going to be positive about the situation. You know, I'm going to be open to romance. I'm going to be open to giving. I'm going to be open to receiving here. I feel like this is you. There's somebody new in your energy who is like interested in you. They want to get to know you. They've been flirting with you. Definitely there's an energy of attraction here. Definitely an energy of like somebody wanting to have fun. And you may feel like and this is a new person and there are some romantic feelings there, but this person could be like coming on maybe too strong. There's something here that makes you feel like I'm just saying because this came out crossing that you are like questioning if this person's questioning this person's intention. OK, you're questioning if this person do they just want something, you know, do they want something short term and just want to have fun with you? So you're like. I don't know if I want to give my love and my heart to this person. I don't know if I want to open up to them. I, you're a little skeptical is the energy that I'm seeing here. You're skeptical on whether or not you want to give this person your heart. And I'm not upset with you about it. I really am not. You're not sure if you want to extend your energy to this person. You're not sure if you want to extend your light, your energy to this person. You you kind of want to wait and get to know what they what they want. Like, you know, especially with deception being here on the bottom of, of the deck the deck and staying optimistic about your love life it's like you're kind of not like i feel like you have been and this person could be a soulmate here okay soulmate energy keep an open mind and let go of control issues i feel like you're trying to control a situation and you don't like i said want to give your heart to this person or you're skeptical you're a little guarded you're not really open-minded you're trying to re re keep <laughs> maintain control over or over your emotions you're trying to maintain control over how you show up rightfully so because you're concerned that this is not just romantic to somebody here maybe wearing a mask you don't know okay is this unrequited love is it is it i don't know let's see so show me this energy here please <laughs> show me this this person who's flirting with the collective here yeah okay so they're single okay nine of pentacles Single energy here. Somebody single. They could be a Virgo or an Earth sign. They don't have to be, especially with the Nine of Pentacles being here with the Hermit card. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a lot of Earth energy here. This could be you thinking like, again, do I want to really give my heart to this person? I know what a great catch I am. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is definitely somebody here who's single. Their, their marriage material, whether you're male or female, you know your worth, you know your value. And the Six of Cups just wanted to come out, but it didn't come out. You're, you're really thinking about this shit. <laughs> You are so thinking about this. Ooh, see, you're thinking about this. You're like, I don't know if this person's lying to me or not. Capricorn energy. You could be toxic. I don't know. Something about this may not, is not, could not be right. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, you're moving on from toxic. You, some of y'all could literally be moving on from a, a Capricorn, okay? Somebody from the past, if this person is not a Capricorn here, you're moving. The good thing about this situation is, collective, is that you're moving away from this devil energy. Because you know your worth. You're in this Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles energy and the Hermit. So you're somebody who's wise. You're not trying to do the same thing the same way again. And you don't want anything that's going to bring you any stress or any drama, or, you know, or anything toxic. So good for you. You're at peace. I feel like you're at peace here with this energy and you're moving on. Okay. From any manipulation, anybody who's playing games. So good for you. I see why you're skeptical. I do. I see why you're skeptical. Yeah, you had a heartbreaking ending. Ten of Swords. That's why you had a heartbreaking ending. Somebody from the past who could have broke your heart might want to talk to you with this page of wands and this Ten of Swords energy. 
somebody wants to communicate something. Let's now somebody from the past that you've moved on from might be thinking about you. Let's get more information. Seven of Pentacles. So somebody's waiting on something here. Your intuition. Dang, what is this? Somebody is like very quiet. There's a lot of quiet energy here. The hermit is here. The moon is here. And the high priestess is here. A lot of quiet energy. Cancer and Pisces energy here. Somebody's like waiting, not taking any action, not doing anything. They're, they could be hiding their feelings. They could be hiding their emotions, not saying anything, but hiding something. You know, this moon card is hiding underneath this devil energy. You may feel like some. You feel like somebody's hiding something from you, and they're not being honest. Queen of Cups and Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Wands. You listen, you're very intuitive, so trust your, you know, your your discernment and your wisdom. I feel like there's somebody who's very wise and experienced. You know, you it takes one to know one, right? You've been there, done that. Nobody's pulling the wool over your eye, I feel like, okay, collective. But you could be a water sign. You don't have to be. But there's like, I feel like you're calling in this Two of Cups energy or that's what you're looking for, okay? Ace of Wands. You're looking for a new, oh, yeah, hold on. You're looking for a brand new beginning, the wheel. Oof. Ooh, we, I feel like you've been strong after a lot of disappointment and manipulation, you know, some of y'all could, have, you're, you're setting boundaries from anything that seems like frivolous or like a bunch of bullshit or drama. If you see any signs, you're like, no, no, I'm good. And I'm not saying you're wrong for doing that. You, you make your own decisions here. I think you should definitely, you know, be, be be mindful about it for sure your intuition is telling you to move on from something and i feel like you're doing that because you feel like somebody's hiding something so you're wait it's almost like you're waiting you're calculating your move you're not saying anything here and this is all because you you have been betrayed and heartbroken in the past and you don't want to be again right you're like i'd rather stay single and have fun and live my life i'm good over here i'll wait for my two of cups and my ace of wands like you're looking this is there's some energy new energy coming towards you the wheel there's a destined connection that's going to be very passionate very a lot of chemistry maybe even kids two of cups something very mutual Can clarify the hermit please let's clarify these uh let's clarify some of these so why is the hermit here Ooh, we king of wands. Are you thinking about a fire sign or a fire sign? Masculine could be thinking about you. Show me more on this hermit and this king of wands, please. Mm, you're attracted to this person. I wonder why this king of wands is like not taking any action. It's not like this king of wands is usually somebody who takes action. Big yep. This king of wands is somebody who, look at that, what came out. This king of wands is somebody who's very attractive. Definitely somebody you could be very attracted to. That's why this flirtatious energy came out. There's a lot of attraction here in chemistry. You could, you could be holding yourself back because it's like, ooh, I don't know. You know, for some of y'all, this person could be like fine, very attractive, male or female. Does it matter, honey? It looks like good energy, though. Let's see what this devil energy is about. Hmm. Okay, I'm not taking that. Why is the devil energy here? Please clarify the devil energy. Hmm, a new beginning. All right, Three of Cups and the Fool card. I feel like this is you moving away from a third party situation. Yeah, the wheel's on the bottom of the deck again. You're moving on. So in the past, that's what this Ten of Swords is here. I feel like you're moving on from a third party situation or someone that puts you in third party. You're just done. Aries energy here with the Fool could be an Aquarius here. Three of Pentacles just popped out. There could be somebody toxic from the past that wants to reunite with you and start over. But you've already moved on. You're not going to do this, okay? Because the Six of Swords is here. But I want to clarify this Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? 
Who too many, please? Why is a page of wands here? One card, please. Yeah, this is about a choice. This is something passionate, and I'm telling you, like, Gemini energy is here with the lovers. Why is the page of wands here? Ooh, that's too many. No, I don't want three cards. I want one card, please, Spirit. Clarify the page of wands with the lovers. Clarify the page of wands with the lovers. Okay. The three of wands just came out, and then some other cards came out on top of this. So I'm just going to take it. This is a choice about what you're going to do in the future. Okay, somebody's thinking about what they want to do moving forward. There's somebody rushing towards you. There's something coming towards you here. Knight of Swords with the Six of, of Wands. Hmm. Somebody's stuck and trapped in their head, though. Why is it the. Uh, what is this about? Clarify this Knight of Swords. Pisces energy and Libra energy with justice just came out. So whatever this is, it's good though, okay? But somebody is going to be in their head about this. You might be in your head about this. Let's see what this moon energy is. Why is the moon here? Hmm. The star. Aquarius energy. You're healing. Like I said, you're healing and moving on from anything toxic, any third body that puts you in a third party situation. You just are, okay? Anybody hiding anything from you, anybody that remotely looks like they got drama or they're playing games, you're just done with it, okay? Hmm. Star energy is still good, though. You're healing, right? You're keeping the faith. You're keeping hope. Clarify, High Priestess. Judgment, Scorpio energy. One more for High Priestess. A lot of major arcana cards, by the way. So, like, you're... The, yeah, what is this? Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody either... What are you going through? Either there's somebody holding on to you collective that you had some drama with that, that feels abandoned, that wants to reconcile with you. They feel left out in the cold. Um, they're not doing too good. Yeah, there's somebody here that wants to return. Mend. It says, I want to fix our connection. There's somebody here from the past that want, that you had drama with. I don't, yeah, reunion on the bottom of the day. We'll always come back to each other. And forgiveness is, on the, I'm struggling to get over the past. So somebody here is struggling to get over the past or struggling to get over you. You want a new beginning. You're ready to move the hell on. So there's somebody new in your energy and you're skeptical. You want new love, but you're skeptical about the new love because you're like, oh, I dealt with so much stuff in the past. Um, I feel like you're in the you're healing or you've already healed. Show me more. Somebody from the past wants to come back and they want a commitment with you. You used to fight with this person quite a bit. They feel like this is a missed opportunity and they didn't they didn't act when they should have acted. Like they should have taken this, yeah, unfinished business. This th this person wants to resolve something that they feel like is unresolved and they want to come towards you. And now and make things right, which explains that justice energy. Runner. I don't want to run anymore. So you're dealing with somebody here who's recognizing their shadow side and they're realizing their flaws and now they don't want to run away from their problems anymore. And you're like, I am good. This person is like not happy with where their life is headed without you. <sighs> Just feel like maybe we want to talk about a new person though because there's, there's an old person here. 
can we get something new like the energy on the new person maybe spirit please <laughs> four cups is coming back out i tell you this that past energy mm -hmm. knight of wands and the um Hierophant, Taurus energy, Sag energy. Somebody's upset they didn't give you a commitment when they should have. I'm just going to keep it real with you. They showed up. They feel like they missed the boat. They missed their opportunity. They should have acted when they, they just should have. They, yeah. Yeah, you're like, no, I, you don't want it. This person feels like you, you don't want to hear the truth. You don't, you won't talk to them. Right? You're not going to believe anything they have to say. They want to communicate with you. This person is going to try to come towards you and communicate with you and tell you the truth. And you're going to be so skeptical. You're not going to be interested. You're not going to be interested. Maybe you're not interested because you moved on to new love already. You're protecting yourself. You're very guarded and you're very skeptical. And you're not going to believe anything this person has to say because of the Knight of Wands energy. How they showed up in the past. How they showed up in the past is the issue for you. Yeah, you're in your head. You're like, no, I'm good. I'm not going to do this. Or this person is in this eight of swords energy because they know that you're going to reject them or, you know, that you moved on or you're not going to believe anything they have to say. They're missing you, though. Yeah, you turned your back to this. You don't care anymore. Queen of swords energy, you don't care. Yeah, they broke your heart. Yeah, ooh, jeez. You're like, you broke my heart. Seven of Swords, you were a liar, you were a cheater, a deceiver. Mm-mm. Hmm. Ten of Swords is out here twice, you guys. Just clarify the Seven of Swords. Watch this. Clarify the Seven of Swords. I already know what's going to come out. Clarify Seven of Swords. The King of Swords. Yeah, and the Ten of Wands. This this person was a soulmate. So, because the, the Queen of Swords is already out here. You know the lies and the deception and you're not going back to that. And this King of Swords knows that. And there's a, it's a, like I said, it's a burden for you not to be in this person's life anymore. 10, 10. There was an ending with this person and they want to come back and make some form of gesture and love offer. And I feel like for a lot of y'all, they want commitment. They feel like y'all have some unresolved issues and y'all need to talk. But the Ten of Wands being here, it's like with this coming out with this King of Swords, this person feels so burdened. Like they don't know what they're gonna do. But again, because they know the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck, they know with the Nine of Wands, they know you're gonna be like, no, thank you, I'm healing. No, thank you, I'm healing. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. No, thank you, I'm healing. Star energy. <laughs> it's, yeah, you know. Let's get a few messages from your person because that's exactly what that is. What does this person want to say to the collective here? What's going on? Show me more. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be. But this person doesn't care what it takes and how long it takes and who they have to upset. They're going to return you one way or another. Okay? this When this person comes back, for some of y'all, this person could be a Libra or a Virgo or a Scorpio. Okay? That's not for everybody. But I'm telling you, this person has got to do what they can to confront this agony and this pain that they're in. Especially with this Ten of Wands being here. You know... Mm, 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 mm. This is crazy. This person, this this person wants you to know how much they miss you, and how much you mean to them, and how they want you to know how difficult it's been moving on without you. They're waiting on the perfect time to return. I don't think you're waiting. You're continuing with your life. While you're continuing with your life and healing, this person is suffering in silence and struggling. I'm just telling you that you're definitely mirroring this person, okay? For some of y'all, if they're not your soulmate, they could be the twin. But this person just feels like you're thinking when they're thinking about you, you're there when they're thinking about you, they feel like you're you must be thinking about them also. Okay. And they don't understand why they can't stop thinking about you collective. They really don't, they can't understand that shit. Definitely some Virgo energy here. Definitely some Virgo energy here, okay? They're just a mess 
they feel like they had their life all planned out and then when they met you things just went awry you know what i mean like they they just their life was derailed um they met you and then like everything just changed you know and they feel like they did should have rearranged their life for you and they at the time they didn't want to rearrange their life for you they wanted to do what they wanted to do and you know unfortunately they're realizing that they had a unicorn and now that unicorn has left the building you know what i mean and you're having new beginnings and you're in alignment here and you're taking action towards your destiny which is why we kept seeing that wheel energy right you moved on you you've created your own reality you know i feel like this person just showed up in the past they limited their their beliefs and their goals or they were so focused on their own goals and their own beliefs that they couldn't really see outside of that they couldn't see below the surface with this situation and so since meeting you they're i feel like their views in there and their uh the things that everything they thought just changed you know especially with this hermit energy we saw which is virgo energy and with this hangman energy you know what i'm saying like all everything in this person's life where's that hermit everything in this person's life changed and to be quite honest i feel like everything in your life changed too you detached you you know your self-worth now and your person knows their self-worth now they know they're worthy of you and you know you're worthy of more hence the mirroring both of you learned a lesson you know literally this card says because of you i know i deserve more i am trying to dream big and i just said that and i hadn't even read the card so you could be dealing with any sign but we have virgo here again i think i said uh libra Scorpio, Sagittarius, could be an air sign because we got a lot of air here, a lot of fire too, right? We saw the King of Wands. Uh, Aries is definitely here with the Fool card. Pisces is here. But it could be anybody. Gemini is here with the Lovers too. So I love you guys. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here, okay? Until next time, bye.